All right. Good morning, everyone. It is race day. So it's early. Uh, I'm going to get some food, water, tea, get ready, get my clothes on to go for the race, and then head out uh, in the race. But thanks for watching, and let's get after it today. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> All right, got everything in the car. Time to head out. Just gotta say, this is why I think fall is the best season. The weather right now is like awesome. It's like not hot, but it's not really cold. It's very comfortable. I know it's still technically summer, but you know, just my thoughts. Comment down below what your favorite season is, but and tell me why fall is the right answer. But with all that, let's get in the car. Let's get going. All right, so I'm here. Just set up my bike and everything in the transition area. So I am going to throw my shoes on and get started on a warm up. And then we'll get ready. I'm going to hand the camera off eventually to one of my friends. And let's get after it. It is the next day now. Uh, I finished up with the try, hung out with my friends afterwards, took a nap, shake out, all that stuff. But it's about a day later now. Had some time to kind of think about the race and everything. Uh, and I thought I'd just go through my thoughts and feelings and everything involved with the race. Um, first off, I am sorry. There wasn't a lot of footage. I did give my friends some camera, but the course wasn't really spectator friendly. So they got what they could. And uh, sorry about the camera tilt. There were some issues apparently with the camera when she was filming. But shout out to my friends who did come and cheered me on. Uh, really appreciated it. It was a lot of fun and it was great to hang out with them afterwards. But let's get into the race. So yeah, overall I ran 55.09, or not run, but swam bike run. And I came in seventh overall. I was the sixth male finisher. Um, Overall, my thoughts on the race, I think it went pretty well. I had a lot of fun doing it, it was very enjoyable. Um, and just looking at my race, I can easily find my weakest points and my strongest points. Uh, and it makes a lot of sense. Uh, my weakest leg was the swim by a lot. Uh, I think the bike was pretty good and my run was by far the best leg. Um, kind of break down what my splits were. The swim I came through for the half mile swim was 16.25. Then I had an 81 second transition to the bike. Then my bike, which was 12 kilometers, I did in 2058, came through with a 65 second transition to the run. And then my 5K split was 1519. So as you can kind of see, the swim was the weakest part. Um, bike was pretty good and the run was, I'm very happy with the run. It was a pretty hilly course. So a low 15 minute 5K, I'm pretty good with. Um, with the swim, uh, one of the big issues was I kept kind of turning right. Uh, I would keep spotting for the buoys and every time I would look up I would find that I was getting to the right of the buoy and I needed to stay to the left. So I was a bit surprised by that. I guess it means my left arm or my left stroke is stronger than my right, which is kind of unexpected since I am right-handed and right dominant in almost everything I do, uh, except for I guess swimming might be one of those things. Who knows? But 
I mean, I'm very new to the swimming. Uh, I don't have a coach for swimming. I just kind of swim and make do with what I can. So I'm kind of hoping in the future I can get a lot better at that because I think the guy who won ran 50 and change. So he was about five minutes ahead of me and his swim was 11 and change. So he was almost exactly five minutes ahead of me in the swim. Um, and then, so if I can make up most of that time, you know, I can close that gap pretty effectively. And I think there's a lot of room for improvement with the swim, which I think is really exciting. Um, overall, the transitions went okay. Uh, I think they went as well as they could have. Um, still gotta practice that stuff. I don't have the best setup for transitions. Like my biking cleats are not like easy to just put on and get on. Uh, they have a couple straps to get them going. Uh, but yeah, I mean, overall the transitions didn't go bad, but they didn't go great. And then the bike I think went really well. So once I got on the bike, I did nothing but pass people the whole time, which I think was really good for me. It helped motivate me, helped keep me just like grinding away on the bike. Um, I can't really pinpoint anything on the bike that went poorly. Um, I think just a standard improvement in my biking ability is the only thing I could really do. That and maybe get a nicer bike. I mean, I have a pretty okay road bike, but it also has hybrid tires on it, um, and it's pretty banged up, so it doesn't have the best uh, transition when shifting gears and everything, because uh, I did crash it uh, four years ago now, and it kind of bent some things, but... It gets the job done, I'm happy with it, and I'm not letting the market for getting a fancy $1,000, $2,000 bike um, compared to the guys who are ahead of me who had you know some pretty nice bikes. But overall, I think the bike went pretty well. Um, coming to the bike transition, I wanted to try and get my feet out of my cleats while they were still clipped in so I could just hop off the bike and run barefoot to the area, uh, run barefoot through the transition area, but I ended up not being able to, ran a little bit short on time, so I just unclipped, ran in the cleats, which isn't ideal because they're kind of hard to run in, especially on the concrete, and especially when that concrete's a little wet because it was drizzling, but got the shoes on and took off pretty quickly out of the gates and just was same sort of deal with the bike, trying to pass as many people as possible on the run. And I knew the run was my strongest uh, discipline, so I was just trying to grind away as hard as I could. Um, <clears throat> ended up with a uh, like pretty solid 5k split. I averaged about 5 flat pace for it, um, and I was passing a lot of people, and I felt really strong doing it. Um, in all honesty, I think the run, I mean, the run was definitely the best, but I think in all honesty, when I look at each area of this try, I think I could have kept going at very similar, if not the same, or slightly slower paces if this was, per se, an Olympic distance. Um, obviously, that might change when I, if I try my hand at that, but I felt really good throughout the whole thing, and I never felt like I was redlining. And by the time I finished, I was pretty comfortable at the end. You know, I wasn't gassing air I was pretty comfortable and um, you know not too tired I would say obviously I was tired later on but I'm gonna chalk it up to just doing the race because that is tiring and also waking up at 4 40 in the morning um, but yeah and then that was kind of it uh, I talked with uh, some of the guys who were ahead of me uh, the guys who went one two three they actually complimented me on my run part of the race so I was pretty happy with that uh, it was nice chatting with them, but overall, I had a lot of fun doing this, and I definitely want to try and do another triathlon or more triathlons in the future, so definitely looking forward to that, and I feel like there's a lot of room for me to improve in the biking and swimming disciplines, so I'm really excited to see how all that happens and how all that goes. Um, but yeah, I mean, in terms of today, I was definitely sore, legs are tired, but the big killer is that my upper body is sore, which I'm not used to after a race being a runner. But, uh, you know, just gonna try and recover, keep going with things, and hopefully it all works out. But those are all my thoughts. If you have any questions, leave in the comment down below. Please leave a like or a thumbs up, and if you want to, hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.